In the two previous videos, I talked about the preclinical signs of Alzheimer's disease, the key findings and symptoms for Alzheimer's disease, and um, how to diagnose it in your clinic. In this video, I'm going to talk more about how to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and how to stabilize the symptoms. We're going to start with sleep. Sleep is the only time you remove beta amyloid from your brain tissue. You have to get seven to nine hours sleep a day. Uh, if you're bragging you're working hard and you're only getting four, all you're doing is increasing the accumulation of beta amyloid and increasing your risk for, for brain degeneration and dementia. Food, diet, very, very important. Alzheimer's is often referred to as diabetes type 3. High sugar levels, um, hyperinsulinia, pro-inflammatory states appear to shrink brain tissue and increase the rate of brain degeneration. You want a diet that can limit that. So the ketogenic diet, the paleo diet, um, fasting, all these things are really important. Fasting can be done loads of different ways. I think the most accessible and most easy to uh, uh, keep going is a daily fast where you have 13 to 14 hours between dinner and breakfast. However, loads of different ways to do it. Google it and you'll find one that suits your lifestyle. It needs to be done with regularity. About 75% of your water is, uh, 75 of your brain is water, so it's really important to stay hydrated. If we remove that water, about 60% of your brain is fat, so we have to have essential fatty acids. You want lots of omega-3, um, but all these essential fatty acids are really, really important. Exercise is next on the list. Your brain evolved to move. Um, culture, music, art, all these other things we have are just a byproduct of movement, so everyone should be doing daily exercise. One of the risk factors for Alzheimer's is low education, so you want to life learn. You always want something to learn, a skill, a hobby, it doesn't matter what it is, a language, music, art, it doesn't matter. Find something that you find interesting and study it. If it gets too easy and you plateau, find something new to do. Smoking is a risk factor, just don't smoke, no one should smoke, it's terrible for you. Um, and finally, saunas. People who have saunas four times a week have reduced risk for Alzheimer's, dementia, and improves their uh, symptoms, improves their mental clarity, as do ice baths, so very, very hot and very, very cold. Um, finally, we have brain training. That gets a little bit more complicated. We can do some very specific things for these patients. However, the hippocampus is the first area to be affected, so that's a good place to start. Memory exercises, time, place, orientation, order of events, um, images, faces, Basically, whatever area someone might be struggling with, get them to practice. And if it's preventative, just download a free app. Um, Peak, Elevate, uh, Luminosity, any of those apps, they're all free. Um, just, just use them to keep your brain, keep your brain functioning. There's loads of research going into Alzheimer's, so um, the list of therapies hopefully will be expanding, and I'll try to keep you up to date with it. Have a good day.